friends. Welcome to Story Behind Podcast. This is the show for people who love hearing a good story and who believe the world could use more positivity. We're the team behind God Updates and God Too, and we hope these weekly short stories will brighten your day. Hilarious Dog Follows Song's Lyrics in the Funniest Way Possible. Written by Adam Staten, read by Julie Provost. A hilarious dog listened to a song being played by an Alexa and followed the tune's lyrics in the funniest way possible. There is rarely a dull moment whenever a dog or cat is involved in this situation. More often than not, those creatures are doing something mischievous, hilarious, or both. There are thousands, likely hundreds of thousands of videos on YouTube that would prove this 100% correct. When you think you've seen a dog or a cat do about all they can, they'll surprise you in the most entertaining way possible. They'll act in a way that will catch you off guard and thoroughly amuse you, invoking a belly laugh or two. Everyone enjoys music of some genre and style. Perhaps some individuals enjoy a song's melody, beat, or rhythm. However, a clip posted on social media shows that animals, especially canines, listen to music and pay particularly close attention to the lyrics. In the short video, a dog sits before one of Amazon's Alexa devices. While the machines can be used for various purposes, they are used as a radio or CD player in the video. Alexa plays Bonnie Tyler's Total Eclipse of the Heart. Anyone that's familiar with the tune knows that Bonnie sings Turn Around Bright Eyes several times. She does it in the verses and in the memorable and iconic chorus. Every time Bonnie belts out Turn Around, the sweet dog in the video does exactly what the singer says, following the commands perfectly. The animal makes one complete circle each time, then sits, stares at the Alexa device, and awaits further instruction. When he hears turn around, the animal follows the command once again and does as the song says. A woman behind the camera, witnessing the obedient canine's actions, cannot contain her laughter. The dog is not bothered, but is entirely focused on the small, circular machine. Proverbs 12:10. An upright man has thought for the life of his beast, but the hearts of the evildoers are cruel. Jane Goodall, age 90, is excited to find out what comes after her next big adventure of dying. Written by Julie Provost. Read by Julie Provost. Jane Goodall, age 90, has had many adventures in her life. Growing up in England, Jane fell in love with the natural world, especially animals. When she was just 26 years old, she entered the Gombe National Forest in Tanzania and started studying the chimpanzee's ecosystem. She discovered that chimpanzees make and use tools. Her work as a primatologist and a conservationist has transformed our understanding of animal behavior and personality, and she is not done yet. The Jane Goodall Institute, which opened in 1977, will be able to carry on after she is gone. However, if you were to ask Jane, she would tell you she isn't done having adventures. She recently shared that she views death as a type of adventure. My next great adventure at 90 is going to be dying. There's either nothing or something. If there's nothing, there's nothing. That's it. If there's something, I can't think of a greater adventure than finding out what it is, she said in an interview with Channel 4 News. I happen to think that there is something because of the experiences other people have had, very powerful ones. As Christians, we know there is one more adventure. Jesus has told us that in the Bible, and we can be comforted that after death we can be with him in heaven for eternity. In an interview with Religion News Service, Jane talks about how her grandfather was a Congregationalist minister. Although her family was not particularly religious, they did go to church sometimes. Religion entered into me, she said. I felt like I had a secret understanding of something other people perhaps didn't share, but I had no compulsion to share it. She also talks about her spiritual connection. After I'd begun to succeed with the chimps, that's when I had time to pause, and that's when I developed a really strong feeling of spiritual connection with the natural world, she comments. What I love today is how science and religion are coming together and more minds are seeing purpose behind the universe and intelligence. Einstein did and my good friend Francis Collins. As Jane Goodall, age 90, prepares for her next adventure, we wish her well and know that whatever happens in the future, she will have changed the world for the better and will leave a lasting legacy for generations to come. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. John 14, 2.
Thank you so much for listening to Story Behind Podcast. We're really glad you joined us for this week's story. To see photos and videos that may have been referenced in this episode, check out the links in the show notes. And if you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe to our podcast and please tell a friend about us. We'd also love it if you'd rate us and leave us a review. It really does help more people find us. Story Behind is a Salem Web Network production.